Hello. Yes, I'm frying up some hamburger. Got to make myself some spaghetti. <laughs> I was just thinking about, you know, beef beef ranchers. You know, they they go out, they 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 get themselves some <laughs> yuck. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I have a dark twisted side. They go out, they get themselves some cattle, and they breed cattle. They 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 deliberately cause baby calves to be born who are destined to be slaughtered so that I can make spaghetti. And no, I'm not a vegan. I am an omnivore. <laughs> and um, anyway, so what I was going to say is <sighs> I'm just trying to come up with an analogy. So so the people, people buy some meat at the store they're sitting around, you know, they're having a picnic and they're grilling up some burgers. <laughs> and the farmer shows up and he goes, I love you so much that I gave you my only calf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you could have food. You could have sustenance. If it wasn't for me, you would not have this meat. So you must, you must <laughs> worship me. <laughs> you must worship me forever. And if you don't worship me, um, I'm going to send you to a really horrible place where, <laughs> oh, this is really silly. But anyway, I'm sorry. It, okay, I'm not going to look. I'm just going to look at the camera so I don't totally focus. <clears throat> I just, <laughs> the whole idea that Christians are all, oh, he loved you so much. He sent his only begotten son. He planned the whole thing, you know? I mean, he planned even before the earth was made. It's not like it's not like humans let him down and he's trying to oops, oh you made a mistake. Oh, poor little human. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, I wasn't planning to do this, but because, you know, you made a mistake and I love you so much, I wanna I wanna bridge the gap between you and me, so I'm gonna send part of myself down to die just for you. You know, wasn't wasn't quite like that because because God knew before He even made the world, <laughs> He knew every decision that every human was going to make, and He knew exactly what was going to transpire in the Garden of Eden. In fact, He set that all up. So He knew before He even made the earth, and He even made humans on purpose to follow his divine plan, he knew that part of his divine plan would be that humans would, would fail because he made them that way, he made them to fail, and that he would have to do this gesture to make the humans subservient to him. Okay, I did this for you, now you have to worship me forever or you're going to go to hell. And what did he do exactly? Oh, that's right. He, he died on the cross, knowing that three days later he'd be right back in paradise. Yeah, you know, lots of lots of heroes down through history who have died for people, you know, who have thrown themselves in front of other people and taken the bullet for them, or just, you know, just heroes that have gone out and risked their lives for a cause. And they've died and they've stayed dead. <laughs> They've stayed, they've remained dead in the ground. I mean, to them, death, their, their sacrifice was quite permanent. Whereas, you know, Jesus is on the cross going, God, you know, this is really a pain, but I know, you know, when I get through all this, it's going to be better because I'm going to be up in heaven. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I have a hard time believing that I believe this stuff. God loves you so much. He he sent his only begotten son that he knew that he was going to have to send when he made humans in the beginning and made them so they would sin because he wanted them to sin because that's what was part of his divine plan. And we're thankful to this God? Oh, but we can't question it because who, you know, who are we to question the mind of God? I mean, we're just... Well, pee on humans, and he's the almighty creator. He can get away with everything because he's God. You know, if he wants to, if he wants to 
make a bunch of people predestined to hell and and you know before they're even born they're predestined to hell that's his prerogative <laughs> I'm sorry I'm in a silly mood I felt like making a video tonight that didn't have to do with um okay and so now I have to come up with an ending to that video that I cut short because <laughs> I wasn't liking where it went so I cut it short anyway I'm in a silly mood. Uh, I just think that I'm... It, I'm <laughs> I enjoy being on YouTube because I feel like, you know, if, if some atheist had spoken to me, if they had only spoken to me a little bit sooner, a little bit louder, you know, <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't have wasted so much of my life. So I feel like I feel good about putting out there what I what I what I think. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying what I think is right. I'm just saying that it's important to not take everything as a given, you know. It's a given. There's a God. No, there isn't. No, it isn't a given. There's no proof to show a, there, a God exists. It's just a book. So, you know, before you say that this God is a given, you should research the book and research where the book came from and who wrote it and why they wrote it and when they wrote it and where they wrote it. You know, um, and ask yourself questions about the things that don't make sense and, you know, really think about these these questions and the fact that they don't have any answers <laughs> except ooh God is mysterious who are we to question God <laughs> yeah anyway I'm gonna try to go back to what I did with what I've been trying to do all along um talk about what I feel strongly about and um I don't think I need to be devoting so much time to people who feed off the emotions of others, feed off of getting a rise out of others by whatever they say. You know, these people want to hate me or say that I'm a bad, evil person. Fine. I really, actually, really am very evil. I am on the most evil of the evil. I'm like the queen goddess evil. <laughs> I'm so evil that uh, even Satan, you know, is like, oh yeah, you, you're the most evil. Yeah. Right. Anyway, that's fine. I don't care. You know, if you want to think that I am evil person, go for it. If you want to say, you know, that I'm a bad person, go for it. <laughs> Because nothing you say affects me or changes who I really am. And I feel bad for people that have nothing better to do with their lives than look for reasons to attack and pick on people. Nothing better to do with your life? Really? <laughs> it's so sad. Wow. You know, scrutinizing people and reading between the lines and oh this 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 thing that she said here means this and really <laughs> you put that much time and effort into somebody's video wow pick it apart pick it apart oh yes yes we're, we're gonna find everything in here that's questionable and we're going to point it out and expand on it and and come up with new reasons and new explanations you have nothing better to do <laughs> um yeah so anyway I have much better things to do than to give a damn about people that are emotional vampires they feed off of the reactions of other people and that's fine they can they can they can do what they do but I'm not going to acknowledge these people they can they can go be what they want think what they want do what they want make a make all these crappy videos about how horrible and evil I am and that's fine because 
far as I'm concerned, they don't exist. I, I'm just writing off the whole bunch of them that try to rain on people's parade and make make things out to be what they're not. Everything that you say, make make what you say out to be different than what you meant. And just, really? <laughs> you don't have anything better to do? Shoot. <laughs> I do. You know what? Sleeping is better. <laughs> and I'm off to bed because I am exhausted. No, I'm not drunk. I know I, I'm like slurring my words. But I'm not drunk. I got up super early this morning because Home Depot, we, have, we had a two-hour meeting and we had to be there by 5 a.m. So I'm real, and then I had to go back and work at 9.15. So I'm really tired. I'm going to go to bed now. So, I don't know what this video is going to come across like. That's fine. I just felt silly because I'm tired and I just, I'm tired of, you know, I'm tired of dealing with people that are constantly challenging me and trying to make things bigger than they are and make, oh, you know, people are still, you know, stuck on the, oh, she called mental illness or religion mental illness. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, oh, they're still on about that. It's like, don't you have anything better to do? Oh, you know, and then when they get tired of me, they're going to go find some other poor sap to pick on. That's what they do. That's how they thrive. That's what they feed on. You know, you give them the attention. They just love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck it. I'm not playing the stupid game. I have better things to do. So anyway, like go to sleep. <laughs> if you've been watching, thanks. Bye!